Here we presents the top 5 best photo printers. Starting at number 5, Epson PictureMate PM400. Today's desktop inkjets offer high enough photo quality that most people don't need a dedicated photo printer like the Epson PictureMate PM400 Personal Photo Lab. For those who do, however, the PM400, $249.99 at Amazon, is one of the few that can print both 4x6 and 5x7 inch photos. The larger than typical print size, along with the high quality output you would expect from a photo printer, makes the Epson model a strong contender. Alternatives to the PM400 include the HP PhotoSmart A646 Compact Printer and Epson's own Epson PictureMate Show and Epson PictureMate Charm, our editor's choice low-cost dedicated small-format photo printer. The HP model is the only one of the three that can also print at up to 5 by 7 inches, but if you don't need to print photos larger than 4 by 6, the two Epson models are the PM400's toughest competition, with better speed and the lower cost per photo. In keeping with its description as a personal photo lab, the PM400 can print from a variety of sources, including a computer, a memory card, a USB memory key, a picked bridge camera, and an iOS or Android phone or tablet. Connection choices include Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi Direct, and USB. The one obvious trick that's missing is NFC for easier connection to mobile devices, but that's a small oversight. The speed is impressive for a consumer-level dedicated photo printer and is consistent for almost all sources. For 4 by 6 inch prints on glossy paper, all but one photo came in at times between 40. 8 and 42. 3 seconds. That single outlier took 48. 8 seconds, with the extra time taken up by an apparent housekeeping task the printer needed to handle before it started printing. That said, the problem came up only with 4 by 6 prints, which is to say, that it's related to the 4 by 6 photo paper that comes with Epson's combined packs of ink and paper. Even before I printed anything, I noticed that the 4 by 6 paper from the print pack was an obviously lighter weight than the 5 by 7 inch Epson premium photo paper glossy I used for the larger prints. The Epson PictureMate PM400 Personal Photo Lab prints high quality photos at up to 5 by 7 inches, but the cost of even 4 by 6 photos is higher than with Epson's 4 by 6 dedicated photo printers. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. At number 4. Kaipix Smartphone Picture Printer. Today I'm doing something a little bit different here on the blog, and the focus won't be so much on beauty, unless we're talking about the beauty of the photographs that we take. Recently, I had the opportunity to try out the Kaipix Smartphone Photo Printer, and there was some nostalgic part of me that just really really wanted to try it out. I think it brought me back, on some level, to when I was a kid, and the idea of an instant camera that would spit out pictures for me felt like something magical. Pairing that feeling with modern technology, technology so much more magical than anything I could have dreamed of when all I wanted was to be able to see the pictures I took immediately, just gave me a really warm, excited feeling. When you're ready to use your printer, it unfolds to make what is essentially a phone stand. The sides unfold upwards, and inside is the lens and a frame, that sits on top of the Kaipix and holds your phone when you're printing photos. When you first open your Kaipix, there are protective strips that you remove on the frame, which allows you to center the photo exactly where you want it and holds pretty firmly as you put it in place. On the side of the Kaipix you have your shutter button, which snaps the photo, and then a little wheel that you turn to eject your photo from the Kaipix. Simple enough, right overall, I think this printer is really cool. I don't really think it's a fair comparison to put this up again most of the digital photo printers on the market because it really is a different animal. Ultimately, these photos aren't going to have the crisp picture and saturated color of a digital print, but as far as I'm concerned that's kind of the point. If you like the charm and vintage of look of these types of instant photos, this is a great option. You can edit the photos as much as you'd like to on your phone, position them where you want them, and print as many or as few as you'd like. What I really like is that I don't have to worry about batteries, yet another charging cord, or Wi-Fi. I actually really think this is a great gift idea for kids and teens who want to have tangible photos to hang on to, I know I would have been absolutely obsessed with this during my teen years. Halfway of my list at number 3, Fujifilm Instax SP3. Instant film cameras are certainly not a new thing, they have been around since the late 1940s. 
and despite popular belief, they were not originally invented by the Polaroid company. Fujifilm entered the instant camera game with their Photorama series in the 1980s, today we enjoy the benefits of that heritage with the popular Instax range of instant cameras and printers. The body of the printer is made from a hardened plastic that has a slight pearl finish, the printer is available in both white and black. The build quality is excellent and typical of Fuji products. The rear has a single lever that when shifted, allows the film cartridge door to spring open. Once you've loaded your cartridge, you simply push the door closed, and it latches tight to ensure the film within is not accidentally exposed. The top of the printer is where all the action happens. There's a long slit that's sealed with soft material, this is where the prints are ejected, and the padded material squeezes shut to prevent any light leaking into the printer. I gave an Instax portable printer to my teenage daughter along with a black page sketchbook, a glue stick and a silver gel pen. It is now up to her what she chooses to document and explore. The Fujifilm Instax Share SP3 is a brilliant portable printer that looks great and combines old-school science with high-end tech. The result is a perfect companion for your photographic journey and education. Coming in at number 2. Fujifilm Instax Mini. All the photos I have stored on my phone represent years of memories, and I don't want to lose them. Sure I can back up my photos on Iclid, but then I am one of those who firmly believe in the idea of printing high-quality photos and keeping them preserved. There are many ways to print photographs, but there's hardly any solution I can think of that comes close to Fujifilm Instax Mini Link, a pocket-sized printer that lets you take credit card-sized film prints in seconds. The Instax Mini Link looks like a printer, though the design is very simple and minimalist. It's small enough to fit in the palm of your hand. The plastic exterior of the Mini Link includes a textured pattern and molded ridges, thus enabling a secure grip so there are fewer chances of the device slipping from your hand. There's only one button on the Mini Link that serves as the Instax logo as well as the printer's on-off functionality. The Mini Lini is a mobile printer at heart, and that's also its biggest highlight. That means the Mini Link does not work with a laptop or desktop. Clearly, Fujifilm is after the mobile first generation, but the Mini Link will also appeal to old people. Fujifilm Instax Mini Link, Fujifilm Instax Mini Link Review, Fujifilm Instax Mini Link Price in India, Fujifilm Instax Mini Link Printer, Instax Mini Link Smartphone Printer The back of the Mini Link is where the film loads. The Mini Link uses Bluetooth to connect to your smartphone. That means no Wi-Fi or passwords are needed to pair the mobile printer to the phone. Once the app is connected to your printer through Bluetooth, it directly takes you to the home screen that is where you will see several printing options. The app is divided into two modes, print mode and fun mode. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. And number 1. Kodak Doc Plus. Who prints their photos anymore? When we can share, post and push out digital images with a simple click, printing photos seems like a wasteful option. Decades ago, taking a snapshot required film, a camera, and produced a limited number of photographs. Today, our smartphones can shoot bursts of snaps of our dog in seconds. Who wants to print those but there's something lovely about flipping through a photo book, taking in one image at a time. And anyone who has ever printed off a digital picture knows that, what you see through your viewfinder, or a smartphone screen is very different, than what ends up on paper. Although you're able to print images directly from an iPhone, we had trouble with the Kodak Printer Doc app. The app instructs you to connect via Wi-Fi to the direct Kodak XXXX network, and then enter a code. The problem? We couldn't find the code. An internet search pointed us back to our user manual, where the code was printed. That's on us. But it's also not intuitive. Just a heads up to remember to keep your user manual. Once we entered the code, though, the Wi-Fi connection worked. Printing every photo in your photo library? That's a non-starter. But occasionally, a printed image is worth having in hand, a baby's book, something to send in a letter you post in the mail, or even an image, to tack on a bulletin board, or in a frame by the bed. In our ever-increasing digital world, something to hold in the hand is worth considering. I have included these product link in the description. You can check out this link for more information and latest price. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button. Share with your friends. And be sure to subscribe.